Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about some flooring options. Okay, so this is obviously a really large um, craft stick. Looks kind of like a popsicle stick in jumbo size. Then you have this other craft stick here that is um, more like a tongue dispressor. Then you have your standard popsicle stick. Then here you have a coffee stirring stick, which if you look at my sewing shop, this is what I use for the flooring for that. And you also have skinny sticks, but I don't have one of those to show you. Um, the skinny sticks are made very similar to this, only they're a lot more wonky. So um, I prefer this over the skinny sticks. And they're a lot cheaper because you can get them on Amazon really, really cheap. All right, And then this is also a coffee stirring stick, which this is great for flooring, wainscoting, um, trim. Like if you have to do like inside of a window trim that's good for that as well and there's a few other uses that you could find in my um, floors and houses and stuff that I've used this for as well now these two here are something new I'm gonna be working with these soon so subscribe below and click the bell if you want to see how I utilize these um, they are basically wooden candle wicks and they come in packs I ordered them on eBay I'll leave the link below and um, you can cut them really easy. They're super, super thin. I don't know if you can see the comparison there. But it's definitely a lot thinner than all the other ones. And um, I cut it in half. Here's the full size. I cut it in half. That way, when I do the floor, my floors won't line up. Or my floorboards won't line up rather it's a little hard to do when they're not glued but they do go together fairly um, well Okay, and then you had the same thing with this one. This one's a little bit thicker. Um, this one's about a half an inch, and this is a little more than a quarter. And then as far as length goes, you have about three and a half inches here with this one, and this one is just a tad bit over five, like five and a sixteenth for that but basically here's some options for flooring and um, with these you can get them on eBay they're um, like 50 pieces in a pack for literally like 316 320 depending on which vendor you buy them from the real world cheap so you can get 50 pieces of flooring which I don't think it'll be that much to do your whole house however if you notice this is very flimsy but once it's glued down, it shouldn't matter. This one, not so much. This is very strong. This one, you can, can't really bend it that way too much, but you can certainly bend it this way, which means when you put it down, it's gonna warp like this, kinda like a, almost like a rainbow. In fact, this stick is already warping if you can see that. See how it's got like that little bow in it? So that's something you gotta think about if you're using those. Same way with this one. This one's already warped as well. And it's the same thing. It's it's made of very, very thin wood. You can bend it and everything. However, this is really good for when you're doing the tops of a dresser and you want it round it, kind of like I did the bookshelf. Because you can wet it and then you can bend it around a cup and then you have a mold for that okay so um, if you want to see the flooring for this coffee stirring stick it came from Amazon it's like a thousand of them in a pack I want to say it was like $14 or something and then um, I'll leave the link for that as well but I did this again in the sewing house or sewing shop so look on my Facebook page and you'll see tons and tons of pictures of that under dollhouse miniature madness and tutorials and these will be coming soon. 
I'm going to actually put these in the farmhouse. So that's going to be coming up real, real soon. And again, these are a lot of the build tips with like the windows and the trim. Look in the 50s diner, um, especially because that's where I used a lot of these. And these I didn't really use. I didn't like them at all. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this build tip was helpful for you guys. And I'll leave the links below and have a wonderful, wonderful day.